Okay, I see a major problem right off the bat here. The PP can't withstand a, an explosion as great as the China one. Now, this is definitely something that I would highly suggest you guys stay away from. In my opinion, based off of what I've seen here, when you're the best engine oil filter available, of course, people are going to copy you. And that's what we have right here. We have a China, say that because it says it right there, made in China, knockoff of the famous 114-000-650 engine oil filter here. Now, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and cut this open just like we did with the original PPE oil filter. You can see there's a nice magnet down there. That helps tremendously. I'm very curious if this one has a magnet in there. I took a peek in there and I don't see something, but there is something in there and we're gonna get into that. I have uh, from a previous video where I cut away an actual PPE engine oil filter and we have that right here to compare to this one right here. So what we're gonna do is unwrap this. I'm gonna cut this thing open and then we're gonna take a look at the inside. All right, let's go ahead and rip the plastic off of this. Now, just for uh, comparison, the PPE engine oil filter does come with plastic over the top of it. It's a high quality plastic. This one comes with a very thin plastic. Now, looking at the filter, we can go ahead and read what is on there. It's actually got good English on there too. So typically we would uh, judge the writing on there. Excuse me, I, I had to pause there because I see something that could cause some major severe engine damage. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Let me try to get this. But there's a metal shaving right here that could come loose and potentially cause major damage to an engine. I'm doing my best to, to try to move it here, but let's see, does the camera get it? Let me grab a flashlight for you. See that there? That's bad news. Now, since we're right here looking inside, you can see that it does have a metal core, which is a positive. It does look like it has some good size holes in there. But let's go ahead and take a look at the head. We'll compare it to a prior video that I have. And look at that ceiling. That's gonna seal. There's no, there's no doubt about that. I can't even get it off with my gloves again. All right, so whole design, we have measurements of each. Straight flow through design. I don't have an actual PPE oil filter because these things sell out so darn fast. So I post them up for three packs on my site and uh, they go fast. And right now we're on back order. Um, so hopefully we get some more in stock, but I do have my cutaway, like I said. Now you can see the head is a different design than what the PPE one is. Let's go ahead and start to, you know what? I'm gonna go get a scale and we're gonna weigh this. As of right now, I do not have any weights um, of the PPE oil filter, so I don't have that to compare to right now, but when I do get these PPE oil filters back in stock, I will update in the comments or in the description of this video what the PPE one comes out to be weighing. Now this is a heavy filter, so we've got some rocking there. 425 grams. What I do have is a Dox oil filter, which I do think these are uh, pretty good filters as well. They, I believe they filter 25 microns, 90, 99%. We're gonna go to weigh this just to have a comparison number, 266 grams for this Dox diesel one. And again, this one comes with plastic on it as well. Neat feature to keep debris out of there. Not many filters do. So uh, that's one thing that I do like. The PPE oil filters uh, do have that. All right, we're gonna take the cutter here and we're gonna go ahead and cut this oil filter so we can see the insides. Now I'm sure you saw me use this. This is a PPE engine oil filter socket. This thing works great for the PPE engine oil filters. Super nice piece. Um, that definitely helped out because you could see that I was getting tired just spinning it by hand and we went ahead and added this on there and that made a huge difference. So that's funny that that worked out. That was not planned, I promise. Okay. Okay, I see a major problem right off the bat here um, that I didn't notice before. You guys probably caught it because you guys are more receptive to uh, a lot of stuff than I am on this stuff. But there's no drain back valve. So there's supposed to be 
either a piece of silicone, rubber, something along here to keep the oil from draining back. And we don't have that. We've just got some, some silly little grommet there. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about in case you're not familiar. Thankfully I have an oil filter here. You can see this red that's in there. That blocks the oil from flowing out um, and draining back. So this doesn't have anything like that on it. Humongous issue, in my opinion there. Very interesting. Um, I do know that the PPE one has a super nice, uh, I believe it's silicone, but it's a very nice one. Um, so we're definitely already lacking. I will say that looking inside at the media, it does have a large amount of media and it does have an actual bypass valve built into it. And this one does have the spring on there. So what it's set at, we don't know, but the bypass valve works when there's enough pressure, it pushes it open so the oil can flow through and go back. Now that's not necessary on these oil filters because our 3.0 Duramax diesels actually has it built in. Very interesting already right off the bat. This media is nowhere near uh, similar to the PPE as far as color goes. The PPE actual genuine one is taller. We're gonna go ahead and cut this off of there now, now that we've looked at that and take a closer look. But before we do that, let's look inside. This is the real PPE one. There is a magnet on the bottom there. Let me try to get it out. It's usually tough to get out. it's still still in there so that magnet is nice because it'll grab on to any uh, metals I can't get it out it's too strong so you'll have to take my word for it that's a strong magnet on the bottom of this oil filter and a nice spring whereas this one just has a big spring big big spring very strong spring now looking at the case the case on the China one is actually thicker than the PPE one. So that is a positive there if you're looking at terms of exploding oil filters. So um, win for the China one, I guess, on that. So the PPE can't withstand a, an explosion as great as the China one. Let's go ahead and cut this out and uh, let's get to the bottom of this media and take a look at the internals. All right, now we've got all of our media in front of us. We can see it is, uh, it does appear to be a high quality media. It does tear very easily though. I don't have a microscope or anything, so at this time we cannot take a closer look at that, so we'll just have to go by that. I've already seen enough things on this oil filter to deem it something that I would never run anyway, so we're not gonna go too crazy with that. But here is our core, and we can compare that to a real PPE core. Now, just for the record, this company is not claiming that they are a PPE oil filter. Uh, they're just using the part number of the PPE oil filter. They're using the same verbiage, same font. If you look at that, the only thing that's really changed on their outer is that they're not claiming to be PPE. So that is me making that claim. But I mean, obviously we can see the uh, majority of the parts that are trying to be exactly like it. Now we can see this is the PPE one. This is the China variation. The center media or the center core actually looks really good um, as far as the holes. It's a very similar design, if not identical. It's just a little bit shorter, not as good as the PPE one. But this gives us a closer look at that. So I want to just fill people in on this. It's a buyer beware situation. If you're going to pay less for something that looks like another part, um, there's going to be some downsides to it. And uh, some of these could be some very critical downsides. I mean, a lot of people talk about warranty and aftermarket parts. Well, here's one instance of it. I often say even an oil filter could void your manufacturer's warranty if it causes a problem. Now, this probably would be really hard to prove that this caused the problem. But if this piece of metal shot through your engine and wiped out bearings, um, you're looking at an engine that could be on your dime. That is just not something I'm willing to take a chance on. And that's why I do these videos so that way you guys can see 
what uh, what a real oil filter looks like versus what a knockoff variation of it. There's still other fragments even inside here. Now, this is definitely something that I would highly suggest you guys stay away from, in my opinion, based off of what I've seen here. Um, I'm here to help. Questions, comments, concerns, fill in that comment, sec comment section on this. Uh, what did I miss? I know I got a little overexcited with just numerous issues that I saw with this, but uh, be sure to check out the other video. I've got, we have a resonator delete as well. We're gonna follow that this video up with that, so be sure to watch for that. This is identical. This is a China variation of the PP resonator delete. So, till next time, see ya.